Cheryl, welcome to the whole bucket. Um, today is December 17th, day 17 of Defemerember, your daily dose of ephemera inspiration in December. I think I got that right. Okay, I say that every time and I'm not sure. So um, you can see I have things a little bit set up different today because we have some different ideas I'm going to do. Um, than our usual and the first thing we're gonna do is find the 17th tee so I missed 15 and 16 I had a little bit of uh, COVID coming back at me and I kind of overdid some other stuff and got too tired so I've been back in bed for a bit oh you know what I want this paper clip wait 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 we need this paper clip for today I will put a different one on here to separate. We need that, and we do not need this. And we'll actually put one on the other side too, because they don't really stay where I want them to. That might help. All right, good enough. Now let's see what kind of tea we're ending up with today. I already chose a cookie. I didn't peek, but I was tired of crinkling in the video. so. I, and this video might get noisy because you can see I have a heat gun. Ooh. Today is tea. Revive me. Oh my gosh, I could totally use that. I just said I was too tired. I, I overdid some stuff in my recovery and was knocked for a loop again. So I missed a couple more Defemerember days. Let's make some revive me tea though. That sounds like it'll be perfect. Let's. So the tea is steeping. The cookie is chosen. Let's put the cup up there. Move the cookie over and get to working. So I got um, the December Your Creative Studio box today, and I did a video about what's in it. And I talked about how it really isn't my cup of tea, but then I ended up getting inspired. So, um. Today's Defemerember prompts. Where's the prompt list? Aha! Today's Defemerember prompt is Rust and Bookmark. And the theme for your creative studio was sewing. And I'm like, okay, Rust and Bookmark, Rust and Bookmark. I rusted some stuff ahead of time. And I thought, look at this, it's a bobbin or a, or a, you know, a spool. So, and it could be a bookmark. And I could make it rusty. Um, the Your Creative Studio Box theme was sewing, which isn't my cup of tea, but it's so well coordinated. And um, I got inspired anyway, so I think I could make, look at, look at how, yeah, it's supposed to be no color. I'm just a messy artist. Um, so I'm going to try making a sewing journal and I'm going to make a vintage sewing journal. And what if, what if I took the Versamark and covered this spool with it and then here, we'll do this. Nope, that's not smooth enough. I'm going to use this. Here's the um, stamps and the washi tapes from the box. And I have this um, rusty and patina embossing powder. So what if I did this? What if I made it a big rusty-ish spool? I don't know if they ever made metal spools did they is that a thing i know bobbins yeah but not, i don't know about spools okay so there it is <laughs> i'm not sure how this is gonna turn out i don't know guys i don't know um i think i'm gonna pause no i shouldn't pause i kind of want to show the embossing process but i don't want my 
boss, my heat gun to be too loud. I'm conflicted. I am conflicted, people. I'm always conflicted, though. So I'm going to just leave the thing running, and hopefully this isn't too terribly loud on the video. But let's kind of watch this process, because it's kind of cool watching the... Um, oh, and then I knocked some off. That's okay. That's okay. I think that'll be all right. But it's kind of cool watching the process of it melt and change. At least I think so. So let's see what we're going to get here. Oh, there it goes. It's starting. the other side too because I want it to be a two-sided bookmark and I don't want to cover it with paper I want to do something different so let's do that let's do uh, there we go let's just smoosh let's just smoosh it on Looks like I got everywhere. I can't really tell that much. Okay. I think that's everything. Let's pull the paper back over and the embossing powder back over and do it again. There we go. This time I will pause it. So now you you saw how it works and what happens and what have you. So I'm just gonna pause it right here and I will turn back on when it's done. Ta-da! <laughs> it is done. So um, next thing I'm going to do is I think I'm gonna put the, the eyelet in next. The eyelets did not um, rust that well. But a couple of them got a little corrosion on. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one that's got some corrosion on it. Oops, I put that on the wrong way, I think. And we'll put that there. And let's just squish that in place right away. I don't know if that's the best. Maybe I should have waited uh, if I wanted to incorporate anything else. It's going to be too late for that. Okay. Well, it's not very smooth. Let me try it the other way. I honestly never know which way you're supposed to do these things. There, I got it smoother anyway. That's good. I hate to have sharp edges on a bookmark or anything for that matter. So I watch out for those sharp edges. Um, okay, so now we have our rusty um this thing why do i forget this word all the time spool we have a rusty spool that's ready to go now i wish i knew what i did with my markers i don't know if i mentioned this i did actually um but i am going to rearrange my studio pretty soon and i've started packing and my pre-packing has been getting in my way a bit 
I'm, I'm foiling my own efforts. It's kind of hilarious and kind of a pain in the rump roast. So I wanted a brown marker, but I'm just going to do black because it also works. But I don't want this raw edge, no matter what. I just don't like them. So I'm just taking a big fat Sharpie, as you can see, and following that outline. Just because I like that, that look better. I don't like unfinished edges. Kind of a hang up of mine. All right, <clears throat> there we go. Now the question is, what do we do with all these little bits and bobs? And it can't get too bulky because it's a bookmark, right? So it has to be book friendly. And we need a rust friendly ribbon. And I think we have that right here or right here. Let's pull both of those out. That's a long one. Okay, so we have some ribbon that works. And we have a little bit of ribbon right here that works. And I believe we have some cheesecloth that works. And as you can tell, I'm going tone on tone on tone with this. And I'm doing that on purpose because I want it to be tone on tone and see what happens. Except this is, this doesn't really qualify because it's got more patina than anything else does. So the only way this works is if I don't use this or I use more of these. Let's grab some more in case that's the way we want to go. So I have a whole bunch. I have a whole bunch of gears that are patinaed. So let's see what we can do. I kind of just want to do a little bit of a a metal rusty stuff collagey thing. I don't really have that much though, do I? Just paper clips and, and gears. Well, that's not all that exciting. What if we do some adding here let's move these off let's add a little bit of a texture with the cheesecloth background maybe like this oh you want to see another thing that came in the your creative studio box wait 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 i'll get it i'll get it it's right here it's right here look oh so excited about this silly scissors. I get excited about the silliest things. It's just true. All right, so that's still too big. Let's just cut off a little chunk and see if we like this idea. So I don't want the straight edges, so I just kind of stretch it in weird directions and get those straight edges gone. Nothing too even, Steven. We want organic. Organic lines are the bestest. I mean, to me anyway. <laughs> Instantly I think, what about people who like geometric lines? Straight clean lines, those are good too. Organic, messy, free flowing is my cup of tea. You know what else is my cup of tea? Revive tea. I hope it's delicious. I hope it's delicious. Okay, there we go. I think I'm just gonna do that. Now let's see what this would be like. So we're gonna do a collage with a little piece of leftover ribbon under there. And I think biggest pieces first. So paper clip, paper clip. I don't know what this has to do with sewing, but sewing machines have gears, right? And paper clips have stuff. 
<laughs> I'm sure they do in sewing. Like, you know, you have to save your space or something. Something. And, you know what? A couple of these little um, eyelet pieces got some rust on them too. So maybe, maybe we just add a couple of these. Maybe down here. Oh, I'm going to turn it over. Turn it over. And then one here. And then let's make that triangle of stuff. That is such a good idea. Boy, that's a pretty exact triangle. I want to make it a little weird. What if I tuck this one down and under? Come on, scooch your butt. Scooch your butt. Sorry for my hands in the way, but it won't scoot. There we go. What do we think of this? I kind of like this. It's weird and different and not what I usually do. And, and it looks kind of neato. And it would, I think I can push it down and get it glued flat enough <clears throat> to still be a bookmark. So, let me find my glue, because I put it away. Here it is. I was going to paint, but I, now I ended up not painting. I ended up embossing powdering instead, and I like it. It's good stuff, man. So this is about what I'm going to do. I... I don't care if it changes a little bit in the making. It's fine. Um, but let's just get some glue down in that basic shape. And then get the cheesecloth kind of embedded in that glue. could use a little more. I think I'll do a double layer down here in the corner across the bottom. I like it when the bottom feels heavier, right? Then your project feels like it has an anchor or a base. I don't know that um, a rusty bobbin needs a base, but now it has one. <laughs> and I had this little piece in there somewhere sticking out, and I think we have enough glue we can just do that and I think it should have a friend. Let's let's scuff up another piece. So oops <laughs> dropping the threads right in it. So I want some I want rough edges on this thing. So it looks like old used ribbon. And now I'm gluing myself to the threads. I don't know about you guys, but I am always running around my house with strange things stuck to me and my hands are weird colors and that's too big. I made it too big. I don't want that. I'm going to cut it at an angle and fray it up some more. Now it's a cool shape. I think we'll just do it right down here. It's sticking out the sides and the bottom. All right. All right. Now, what did we do? We did a paper clip up and a paper clip across. And this is going to be interesting to try to glue, isn't it? I want it way high. There we go. Let's get that extra glue out of there. We don't want it looking gloppy when it dries. And we're going to put the one across the bottom. There we go. And I think I will put it a little bit at an angle. No, like this, I think. Like that, I think. 
so we're not so not so literal, I guess, with our angles. Not so straight with our angles. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and then I think I'm gonna put this one down first. I think I want it on the bottom. Of the pile. And then I will put this one down. Again, I like things to feel anchored. So the bigger one is going to go down. I guess I want it resting on both paper clips a little bit. So I have to scoot that one up and this one down just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now we got a bunch of space under there and I'm worried that that means this one's gonna fall off easy. So I'm gonna take some of these threads and some of this leftover cheesecloth bit and I'm gonna stick it under here to try to give it more to hang on to and a bit of a cushion under there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> this is, <clears throat> this is quite a mess. Quite a mess. Okay, let's take the little tiny one. Where are we putting the tiny one? I wish I had, um, oh, I wish I had rusted a smaller paper clip because I would really like that if I had it right now. In fact, hang on one second people, I think maybe not, but I think, but maybe not. <laughs> You hear me knocking things over? Oh my goodness. Desperately trying to find this. Oh my god one. Look at this, guys. Okay, this was totally worth digging for and embarrassing my stuff knocking things over. But look, I have one of those um little tiny and it's not rusted, but it is a comparable color, so I can totally stick a little baby paper clip in here. And then we have three paper clips, three gears, three different kinds of textile. And then I'll have to put three of these on there. I, I did have this too, but it's too bright and too shiny. And I like the idea of a tiny one. So where could we stick the tiny one? Like right in there. I don't want the tiny one hidden. All right, what if we push the giant one down? Give that gear more support and put the tiny one right there. What if we do that? Kind of gets lost in there. What if we put the tiny one up here all by itself? All right, I have a new idea, guys. I have a new, I have a new idea. <clears throat> what if the tiny one is up here with its own little set of buddies. Oh, come on. Stop sticking to my fingers and stick to where I want you. There. What if we did that? Yep, I like that. That balances things out. But I think... That needs to go here. Yeah, it does. I kind of liked it tucked under the cheesecloth, but then it left such a big empty space here. And I think I want a sentiment on the front here, but I don't know what I want it to say. And I need to leave a gluing spot. So let's put this guy on. We're going to tuck it down here. And then let's put this little tiny guy on. And we're going 
gonna put it up here. I guess I'll put it at an angle because it wants to go at an angle. And let's get these two guys on. Okay, let go of my hand. There we go. And last piece. Last piece for this anyway. Okay, I gotta get these arranged a little better. So if I have that at an angle, this can go over here, that can go over here. That's too snowmanny. There we go. Now what I'm thinking is I can figure out a sentiment that I want to go on here. I can take this piece maybe, or maybe another piece, I'm not sure yet, but I can take a piece of the ribbon that I used and put it across here, right? And then put the sentiment across here. I should tuck this under. Yes, I should. Because I should. Because I wanna. And then this little paper clip can also be a little bit on top of there. Oh, that's why that looked funny to me, because I had two of them glued together. This is a very busy little card. I'm telling you. I'm going to put some glue on the back of this and I'm going to stick to this idea. I'm liking this idea. I'm going to put a glob of glue under there because it's just not holding. And it needs a little more, there we go, a little more support. Okay, now we need a sentiment and the holder ribbon, the, the pole ribbon pole. And I think we're going to use this color because it is the most tone on tonish. And let's do the pull through loop variety of. Ah, get through there. Get. There you go. I'm gonna do the pull through the loop kind of thingy jobber. And I can make it a little bigger. I did not leave myself much wiggle room. And I got fat fingers. There we go. Oh, I got too much glue right there. Let's get that off of there. All right. Got a nice ribbon on there and let's cut this part at an angle also and then we're gonna mess up this too. There is no neat and tidy here. This is messy, messy, messy. Messy, rusty, everything. Oh, little bits need to go away. And I'm going to put some glue right under this ribbon edge right here so that this pole stays on nice, but doesn't show any glue. There we go. And then we needed to say something because I always like my stuff to say something, but what do we want it to say? Um, this is not what I wanted to say but I'm gonna cut this word trust out and just see what this size does. See, pink and purple is just not the right color and trust I don't think is the right word, but that's actually a decent size, isn't it? So I can go pretty big if I can just figure out the right word. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to post this video with no word on here 
And I'm going to ask anybody who views this to leave me an idea for what word should go on this. And in the meantime, I'm going to take this giant weight. This is hard for me to get, so just bear with me a second. But I, right over here, ow, yep, right over here, I have a weight. And <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. So all of that stuff dries super flat and super compact for a bookmark. But there it is. There is my rust bookmark for Defemember Day 17. Yep, 17. All right. I'll see you next time, guys. And I look forward to your suggestions for the word. Whatever I decide to do will be shown on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.